guys, welcome to another Liberate Illuminations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Virgo New Moon. This illumination is happening on September 17th, that's this Thursday at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Like I said, it will be a new moon in Virgo at 25 degrees. With Virgo being an Earth mutable sign and also ruled by Mercury, and this new moon being all about new beginnings, what ideas do you have that you want to develop or perfect? For this new moon, we have a couple of aspects that are important to mention. First one being Mercury in Libra is going to square our dear friend Jupiter and Capricorn, who's just stationed direct. Overall, I don't want to say this is a bad transit. There's no good or bad transits, really. It depends on how it affects you personally. But Libra having a very giving nature and people-pleasing nature and Jupiter being all about expansion. With this, I want to make sure that we don't over-compromise, over-promise, either to ourselves or to other people during this time. Just be very realistic of where you're coming from and what you really want to put out in the world. Be sure to take a grounded approach to these new seeds or goals that you want to plan for this upcoming cycle. The astrology of especially this half of 2020 is filled with a lot of push and pull dynamics, a lot of push and pull energy that we really have to take time to think about and go through. We have to take the necessary steps to keep going, but also not rush through these things. Another aspect that we're having this new moon, both the sun and the moon will be trining Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn, who are both still retrograde. Now here with the moon trying Saturn, we do have a little sense of responsibility and limits and the almost supporting system. To me, Moon Train Saturn is being able to be rational about your emotional needs. Use this energy to be able to truly discern what goals and seeds you want to plant for this next new moon cycle. With the Moon Train Pluto, we have the potential to dig deep within ourselves, our subconscious, our psychological self, and really be able to figure out what it's most important to put forth right now for ourselves. I would say with this transit, also try to avoid conflict or any power struggles with uh, people of authority. Because we all know how Pluto can be sometimes. So it's a time to pull a card for you guys to see what this lunation is shining a light on. What is important for us to pay attention to now? What should we keep in mind? What guidance the spirit have? for us at this time. Well, something fell. We got quintile. So this says soul inspiration, ease, ability to express. Really honestly, to me with Mercury and Libra, Libra is very much about pleasure since it's ruled by Venus. And Libra loves to communicate. Libra loves to be there for the other person. They love to express themselves to the other person. So really take, I mean, take a chance with this Mercury and Libra and really tell people how you feel, how you want to care for them, how you want to care for yourself, honestly, because you also have a relationship with yourself. <clears throat> it's not about other people. It is about that relationship with yourself and you need to treat yourself as another person to be able to express that in give it kind of the priority it needs because sometimes we put other other people's priorities on top of our own because xyz you know you don't want to deal with your stuff you don't have time for it it's easier to deal with other people's problems but with this really and especially with the soul inspiration ease like don't don't push yourself don't pressure yourself don't put expectations on yourself that are not healthy Okay, well, now I'm rambling. For this time, I recommend readings. Readings for the new moons because it's kind of a blank canvas, right? So if you don't know what you want to put forth, if you don't know what you're trying to manifest, if you have a hard time tapping into those parts of yourself to figure that out, having an intuitive reading can really help with that. It can bring some clarity, it can bring insight, and it can bring you some purpose as well. So highly recommend an intuitive reading. We have great, great, great readers at Liberate that will be able to help you. For a meditation this week, I recommend Hypnosis for Abundance by our very own Christina Dam. Hypno is a great way to get into your subconscious and kind of get out of your own way with things that we cannot really control on a day-to-day -day basis 
or control when we are being conscious. So this is a great, great meditation to get out of your own way, to get out of your mind, and also to bring all kinds of abundance into your life, whether that is love, money, spiritual abundance, whatever you are looking for. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Liberate Lunations. Sending you much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a happy new moon. Readings uh, shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots, so when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately and sometimes it's hard to see that and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you.